It's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or some other platform. People are still staying connected these days online. Not sure it's keeping us very busy, but it's also helping scammers get our personal information. Jade Cunningham explains what you need to be aware of. Between Tiger King memes, TikTok videos, and Instagram food adventures, let's be honest, social media is helping us through this crazy time. But as people log on to try and escape reality comes a reality check because lurking among your news feed are scammers looking for personal info. The con artists know that many people are at home and they're very vulnerable. So, yeah, you really have to keep your guard up at all times. They're looking for certain posts that might seem innocent but aren't. For example, that elf name you shared of Holly Jolly Biscotti announces your December 6th birthday. And that recent quiz going around asking questions like four places you've lived in contains a gold mine of personal information. And they may ask about your firstborn, the name or where he or she was born. Beware of answering any of these questions because it can actually come back and haunt you. Even your graduation photo you shared can help scammers answer security questions like what high school did you graduate from or what was your school mascot? And that could mean trouble. They can go ahead and use the information that you shared on these so-called surveys. That person can reset your password and of course they can steal your identity. These seemingly fun posts have even prompted local and national law enforcement to remind people they're dangerous. So the next time you see one being shared, it's best to ignore it. Jade Cunningham, Eyewitness News. If you think you have been scammed, contact your local law enforcement agency and the Better Business Bureau. It's also advised that you change your password every six months.